Multiple forms of malnutrition exist in West Africa, particularly amongst women of childbearing age and children. This can cause children's brains to underdevelop. They are unable to pay attention and learn optimally at school, not to mention major health problems throughout their lives. The double burden of malnutrition is increasing at alarming rates. Anemia, stunting, starvation and wasting, low birth weight alongside obesity and overweightness, this is why we need to act now. My name is Chef Elijah Amu Ado, founder and executive director of Food for All Africa. Food for All creates West Africa's first and largest food bank in Ghana. We work with businesses to recover excess food to feed vulnerable in society through programs such as school feeding, monthly community hot meals programs. Everyone everywhere should be eating a good nutritious food that is delicious and diverse each day, packed with nutritious ingredients. Unfortunately, this is not possible for 3 billion people around the world who cannot access or afford healthy, nutritious food each day. We need to ensure all people have the nutrients they need to be healthy and live a full life. Fortified ingredients are one solution in West Africa that can help ensure good food for all. To be healthy and give our children the best start to life, a diverse diet is important. We all need a mix of vitamins and minerals, such as folate to grow healthy babies, and iron, folate and B12 to combat anemia. Fortification has been an important part of human nutrition for so many years. In 1999, Ghana passed its first fortification law, which ensured we had salt, iodized. Fortification since then has played a critical role in managing malnutrition. Some foods in Ghana that are fortified include wheat, salt, and quite recently with the introduction of fortified rice. I am preparing fortified vegetable rice and egg stew for beneficiaries of our hot meals program. Rice is a major staple of most West Africans, with the average Ghanaian taking over 60 kilos of rice in a year. Fortification is done to improve and optimize the nutritional status of the product. Imagine how we can help our children grow and learn if we include fortified rice in school feeding program, especially in vulnerable communities where most children are malnourished. Fortification or other fortification processes is done in a protected environment. The fortification of rice improves the nutritional value of the rice however it doesn't lose the taste the look and the texture five products are usually labeled fortified with micronutrients on its labeling and it can be found in every sector of the food supply chain the taste the texture is the same as normal rice yet very very nutritious now join me let's share fortified rice to our beneficiaries <laughs> oh, i love helping people receive healthy delicious food they can't taste the difference fortified rice can benefit and serve people from all of their life. I like it. Fortified rice is a game changer and no brainer. Consuming fortified rice doesn't change your dietary habits and it is good for you and your family's health.